Hello, everybody. My name is Anson. Well, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 New Orders of America. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So it is currently September of 1972. We should have our election soon, right? Like it's um, it'll be November. And we're, uh, aside from that, we're also currently trying to deal with the remnants of uh, of the oil crisis. We're going to try to intervene militarily as much as we possibly can in the Middle East. Currently, we're trying to uh, silence the Saudis. But things are kind of crazy. The election right now is still underway. You know, 154 to 127. It's, it's, it's a close election. I, I have no idea who's going to win. It, it's absolutely a toss-up for, um, for the election here. So I don't know necessarily if this is going to be the final episode. It's possible. It's possible this might be the final one because um, we're going to have the election. And then when the inauguration happens... I believe that's the end. I think I think it's sort of all of your focuses, and it's like you've done it. Like this is, it is what it is. Again, assuming that, um, assuming that, you know, there's not a 1972 focus tree, and I, I I don't believe that there is. Again, if you've commented recently about this, please note I've been recording for four and a half hours straight, so I've not I've not read it. But I appreciate I appreciate you putting it down in the comments, anyways. You know that's always nice. Uh, let's just decrypt. You know, it can't. No, okay. No, okay. No, get rid of you. That's fine. We're getting another. No operative is currently being recruited. Really? I only need five slots normally. Unless you only get like one in this mod. Which I mean, doesn't sound right. I feel like you should be able to get a, a, a few more than that. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Anything else we want to do with you? Increase the security, regulated police. Holes are updated once again. Okay, th this now looks a lot worse for, for uh, Jackson. Let me just put it that way. The, the, one, the 150 to 38 is, is not... Maybe we should have gone for the Republicans. I, I say that again. We, we, we chose Kirkpatrick. Uh, due to the fact that, you know, we've seen so many events about her. National focus. Let's operation checkmate. Sure, why not? Standing with his back to the setting sun, E. Howard Hunt, CIA operative extraordinaire, grinned as, through his binoculars, he watched his three Japanese cargo ships exploded in a trio of enormous fireballs. They were, of course, flying the uh, Thai flag, but you'd have to be a damn fool not to see you through that. Hunt couldn't help but to feel a certain triumph at this. Though the war ha was far from over, this was the coup de grace. A slap in the Emperor's face. And there wasn't a damn thing no snivel ambassador could do about it other than without admitting that they were running uh, guns to the Islamists. It, was, it had been a good few months, all in all. The boys had, with great success, managed to covertly destroy Japanese spy networks across the Middle East and impede their shipments of material aid to the guerrillas. Note that the Japanese uh, knew precisely what was going on, but couldn't retaliate without escalating tensions in America. It also didn't help that their nearest base influences all the way over in Bengal. Hunt uh, inhaled deep, enjoying a smell of the heavy uh, sea air, now tempered with the uh, distant reek of smoke. Down in the port, firemen and coolies ran around like headless chickens as the ship burned and slowly sank into the harbor. He found his agents and uh, tracked them as they made their way through the crowd and slipped away one by one. Stowing his binoculars, Hunt stretched, feeling his verb uh, vertebrae pop, then made his leisure way down to the uh, hill as the harbor burned behind him into the gathering dusk. Sudan. Okay, so th this, this is all re uh, revolving around um, <laughs> uh, uh, these, these wars ended like two years ago at this point, man. Like, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Then support to Italy. Like, I, I don't know if there are supposed to be more wars in like Syria or, you know, in Jordan or, or whatnot, but... Like, we won. We won so handily, I'm actually a little embarrassed for the Japanese. And the Germans to a lesser extent, but I'm not really too worried about them. By the way, it's only like negative 100 guns for each faction, which, which, which is so nothing. So nothing at all. But I will take a quick break in the middle of this video. You will notice it, but I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. Again, uh, for, for your perspective, you haven't seen anything. From my perspective, it's been about, been about an hour, I want to say. So I need to jump back into uh, what we were doing. Okay, so it's November 5th. We should very, very, very soon have the elections of the United States. Peace conference. White Siberia. Okay, so Finland has lost the war against the White Siberians. Which presumably means that they're all going to now move moving their way onto the other uh, side of of the country. And what if they take Nova Cerberus? Is that going to immediately kill the Siberian Federation? Which means we'll have an Omsk-aligned Russia. That sounds not great for anybody involved, but we won't worry about that quite, quite yet. So let's see, what is the current lookout for you? 142 to 122. Like, it is very, 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 very close. But we have, I have no idea who is going to win the election, but I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. The red sun rising. The cows gather in their uh, thousands. The medley of faces, both black and white, march through the streets. There's no longer a content with similar form or combating individual acts of injustice. The entire system is rotten, they say, and it needs to come tumbling down. They shout, they chant, they whistle, and when police arrive to quell the unrest, they soon turn their roars in anger. Within minutes, there are fires, tear gas, uh, broken glass, and broken bones. This is the scene in New York. This is the scene in California. It's both in the Rust Belt and the Black Belt. All of America is beginning to unravel. In a disused warehouse, a gaggle of militants meet. They hail from the uh, Panthers, the more radical unions, and one of the two previously unknown, uh, somewhat eccentric leftist sects. Uh, once they ha uh, would have uh, discussed plans for armed resistance, but now, paradoxically, they have decided to quell their violent tensions. For the first time, the system seems to be bending in their favor, and the revolution might be achieved by the ballot box for the first time ever. Their plans instead turn for more peaceful matters, electioneering, vote registration, and rallying the base. Of course, if the powers that can uh, stop them from manifesting uh, the true will of the people, they can always return to plan A. In Washington, the MPP begins to buckle. Once they uh, would have so uh, spoken softly, but now any pretense of civil discourse has broken down. RDC senators are shouting down and are rioted as corporate stooges, while what little remains of the right are forced to remain silent in the immediate ejection. Once champion Marxist policy within the halls of power would have been tantamount to political suicide, now it seems like order of the day. The specter is haunting America, the specter of socialism. The powers of old America values have entered into alliance in an attempt to exercise that specter. However, across the nation, fury of the system reigns supreme. And unless something can be done to quell this fury, America is about to enter a new radical era. Uh, let's campaign in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a uh, thing that we can do here. Class 2 Senate elections, and now it is time for the election of 19 1972. Probably is going to be the final thing like we do really this entire campaign. Okay, so let's go with this. So between Henry M. Jackson and Jane Kirk D. Kirkpatrick... First state is going to be for Virginia for the... I'm just going to call them the Democrats and Progressives. I guess you could call them the RDC. I, I know what I'm doing. This is the third time I've done this. Tennessee has been called for Kirkpatrick. West Virginia for Kirkpatrick. Kentucky and Maryland also both for Kirkpatrick. We have BC. Washington has gone for Johnson. Or Jackson, I should say. Meanwhile, uh, Georgia and Louisiana have both gone for Kirkpatrick as well. Arkansas for Kirkpatrick. Alaska. Oh, okay. Pause, pause for a second. Alaska and New Hampshire have gone for Jackson. And I think you also got Mississippi or Alabama. Okay, Utah for Jackson. Vermont and Montana for for Jackson. There goes Oregon for Jackson. North uh, North Dakota has been called for Jackson. Meanwhile, um, North and South Carolina both for Kirkpatrick. Next up is going to be Indiana for Kirkpatrick. Oklahoma for Kirkpatrick. Michigan. Okay, I think it's over at this point. So New Jersey's for Jackson. The entirety of the South is lined up behind the Democrats. Here goes Ohio. I mean, he would have to win like every other major swing state, right? We're at 80 now. 208, that was Iowa. Delaware, South Dakota. What would he need? Two I mean, he needs California and he needs New York. Texas is now gone for Kirkpatrick. I mean, it's over, right? Minnesota for Kirkpatrick. Wash or New York State has gone for Jackson. Nebraska, there is the other one, <laughs> California's gone for a job, I mean again, he only, needs, he only needs one more state, and with that, Jing D. Kirkpatrick has won the presidential election of 1972, uh, okay, president-elect Kennedy, in a, I mean, uh, still fairly close, 204 to uh, 333, but uh, yeah, who would have thought? 
Who would have thought that Thormund would completely destroy the NPP? He's only been in, he, he's only president for a year-ish? A year and a half? And immediately has uh, completely destroyed his own party. Good work, guys. Operation Checkmate. Okay, uh, let's go down. What about Just War? He's seen as the right idea. Again, I don't know if any of this actually does anything for us in any way, shape, or form. Progressive lost six seats. Nationals have lost six seats. They're down to 31 to 67. Genuinely, when was the last time it's been this bad? This is the worst this is the worst showing they've had in 10 years. You know, like plus 10, plus 19, plus 7. Lost 5, lost 12, and then they, they basically have collapsed in the last four years. Like it's just just really sad for the MPP. If if Kennedy didn't die, like he he would have it would have been like so easy. I wonder like he could have run for a third term for sure. Operation Checkmate. The old office has been a busy day as always. After all, the fate of millions of people are not only for the United States, but the entire world hinders on the decisions that are made in this room. In this case, the possibility of a proxy attack on Saudi Arabia in order to destabilize the country and recover our control over the oil wells is being discussed. In a uh, reunion with the president, CIA Director Richard Helms explains the advantages of Operation Checkmate. The idea is sending Ab uh, Arabian rebels to storm Turmont Bay, damn it. Uh, Daman, right? As he points to a map of Saudi Arabia, President Turmont holds finger... Uh, holds... It doesn't even say finger tips. Okay, I'm guessing it's, like, it's probably like completely broken. Pour every last penny into it. Let's go. In, in his last act as president, he is going to invade Saudi Arabia. And we'll, we'll, we'll see what that uh, how that ends up for us. Yeah, like I mean, because this is the last election in here. Just really, really pathetic. <laughs> Uh, like, look, 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 look at that, like, swing state, man. Like, they've got the north and they've got the west, but that, that's really about it. Everything else is just depressing. Okay, so that is more money being sent to, uh, Arabia. Again, we're kind of in, like, in this awkward limbo state. Where, I mean, again, like, it's over. Germany's has annexed uh, Poland and the uh, Belarus and the Baltics. I mean, you do you, do you man. You do you. But shit's kind of crazy. And again, I, I said uh, I will show uh, if Gus Hall can do any better. I'm going to assume that's going to be, like, significantly worse. The amphibians both were shaken by the strength of the waves of the Red Sea. While training for this kind of situation, some of the soldiers couldn't avoid being affected by the seasickness. The D-Day day, the D -Day was finally here. Even Asir himself was struggling to stand on the balcony of the transport ship USS Lawrence of Arabia to address his men at the last time. Bravo, soldier of the Arabian nation! You're about to embark on a crusade to liberate our oppressed brothers and sisters from the tyranny of the monarchy. Trees to the megaphone. The uh, sound of a Douglas B-26B uh, B B cut through Nasir's speech. I'm an interpreter as a bad omen. Shouldn't the Americans be neutralized the uh, Saudi Air Force by now? It is vital for the success of the operation that their uh, paratroopers can land unopposed. The pilots of the CIA offered the uh, ground support. Apparently weren't doing their job properly. As we enter the site of battle, the enemy will fight ferociously to protect the privileges of the king and the cronies. Continuing in Nasir is the loud voice. Once again, the speech of the revolutionary leader was interrupted by the sound of a loud noise of Saudi anti-aircraft artillery. Uh, from the ship, Ahmad is guessing that this is probably old World War II models. But this battle will be the founding stone to build a future for our children. Suddenly, the company of five old German tanks started to fire the uh, freighters from the beach. Ahmed wondered if the Nazis were the reason behind the Saudis uh, being so well informed on the operation. Probably aware of this, Nasir couldn't help his anger at his face. You know what? The hell with this. Let's go to Ridia right now. Glory to the Arab people. The rest of Ahmed saw and cheered, raised their fists in the air. Ahmed felt like this was the highlight of his life. The battle for the fate of Arabia was about to begin. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can really do here. Divert the pan Arabist. Just war. I mean, can I... The fire raises. Is there anything else we can do? Um, regarding Saudi Arabia? Because they're coming from the Red Sea. They're coming from here. I mean, if I was going to invade Arabia, I'd probably come from the Persian Gulf. But who knows anything about that? I certainly don't. I don't know anything. What I do know is we do have a research slot open. Okay. Research slot. Let's go for railway guns. And breakthrough. 
As midnight covers the city of Daman, the, e the Arab exiles leave behind the bodies of Saudi soldiers and the burning wrecks of old German tanks on the beach. While receiving some important casualties along the way, the paratroopers managed to effectively neutralize the enemy machine gun nest. The SS Schirmenstad unloaded the necessary supplies that will soon be necessary for the long march through the desert. Nasir had his uh, doubts about the effectiveness of the equipment given, but they, uh, they did the job just fine. Enough to curb stop these poorly trained Saudi militiamen and take control of the entire island. The reconnaissance patrol informed him of the apparent last Saudi holding point, the Surat Castle in Kadif. Apparently the Saudis made their uh, gamble for a last stand on the uh, ancient fortress. The pass is the perfect place for, the, uh, for these rats to hide, commented Nasir jokingly. From the top of the M26 Pershing, Nasir guided the advance towards the old castle, but the Saudis made no attempt at defense. No artillery machine guns could be seen on top of the building. They want to surrender already, asked Nasir from the, uh, to himself. The group of soldiers uh, came from the ruins. Lay down your weapons now, screamed one of Nasir's men as they aimed their guns. It was uh, then that they recognized their uniforms of the men coming through the, uh, the doors. They were their guys! So, uh, when, are we, uh, when are we going to read? Yeah, joked Ahmad. A uh, burst of cheers and laughter came from the senior squadron. Ahmed already foresaw the possibility of the Saudis entrenching the fort, so he made uh, sure to occupy it beforehand. A few unfortunate Saudis had tried to uh, take it, but uh, were put down unceremoniously. You scared the shit of me, you magnificent bastard, expressed Nasir, laughing. So they have landed in... Uh, islands. Maybe this one? I don't actually know. It's the only island that's in the Red Sea, though, so that'll be my guess. I mean, there's nowhere else that they could possibly be, as far as I can tell. Okay, starting the fire. And what else shall we do? Subvert the Pan-Arabist. Because this is going to get rid of Syria, the Arab Gulf, and the free Lebanon state. Again, Lebanon is they're, they're a puppet of Israel. And they're also, like, already in our sphere. So I'm not too sure what the problem with them is, but whatever. Unfortunately, the results of Operation Checkmate ended up being underwhelming. Even with area support, the rebels were unable to break through the coastline. Of the 834 men we sent to Daman, at least 615 are dead or missing in action. We're not sure if the remaining Arabs could uh, confess about our involvement under torture, as it would depend on their uh, grade of fanaticism. Of the 46 American pilots assigned to the operation, we only lost three. One fell into enemy lines, but we don't know if he's uh, used a cyanide capsule assigned to him. One of the big factors behind the failure uh, was underestimating the position of our enemy. The Saudis were well prepared to reject the invasion. It's very likely that they were informed by the Germans, but uh, we don't discard the possibility of an Italian double cross behind our backs. The reason for this is unknown to us. Uh, we've also overestimated uh, both the ability of the paratroopers to neutralize the enemy's fortif uh, fortified positions and the discontent of the population with the current Saudi government. Well, unfortunate. I don't know. Is that guaranteed? Or do you think Germany and Italy maybe have some uh, decisions that they can make there as well? Senate elections are in. And... Yeah, 25. The nationalists have completely collapsed. Which is just em em okay, embarrassing, I would say. Also, do we have another election scheduled? Yeah, November 76. Okay. America has decided. We have a new uh, president. Officially has been uh, elected by the Electoral College. And I, I, I hope everybody's enjoyed. Um, this is what I don't even know what episode this would be at this point because I've again I recorded for almost like four or five hours today I want to say just to uh, just to finish this off here like it's 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 been a wild ride I'm disappointed with uh... wait what is this oh this, okay this this is about the uh, ambush I feel like that should have been before the other event but whatever we're not we're not even gonna worry about reading it because we already know that we lost. I'm going to send you to Iberia. I don't know if it's going to give us more intelligence. 5.2, static. I mean, I will probably also, like, I, I, I want to know what you've done. Because like, they, they haven't completed weakened sovereignty yet. So I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure what the, uh, what they're really waiting on at this point. President for life. Like, I wonder if they just, like, didn't complete the oil crisis? It's a, it's a possibility, but I'd be surprised by that. Okay, so what else we want to do? I guess Reichsminister Howell has been murdered. Your Minister of Foreign Affairs found dead with his wife. That is what it is. Oh, what's over here? Okay, that, that's something we don't care about. Sure, we'll do a just war. I don't know what that really means for us, but... 
Okay. Despite some obstacles, the result of obstacles and checkpoint have been satisfactory. Wait, do we win or do we lose? Okay, well... Saudi Arabia is still not happy with us, but that's, that's fine, that's fine. I feel like the events are coming completely out of order. But, you know, it's not a uh, big deal one way or the other. The logistic company... And we're ready. Again, I, I will I will show you the uh, the gut the Gus Hall stuff, but I've got a match. It, it might even be like a full on, f you know, f what, what's the maximum? Five thirty eight, like five hundred thirty eight to zero uh, election. I w I would not be surprised by that outcome given the uh, the situation. Hey, another free Iberian delegate has arrived uh, in Brady Washington as per scheduled. Excellent. Okay, so that is. So they just finished Visit Wash. Okay, so they're very, very close to actually joining us as well. So I mean, that's nice. Operation Checkpoint is backfired. Okay, is it is it working or is it not working? <laughs> Game, I really I need I need you to figure this one out, okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna personally worry about it too much. Should be a okay. So well, let's see, what are we at, at now for our final rankings? Germany 755. South African War. Has Germany won a single thing? West Indies Crisis, 75. They won here. No, like, Germany literally has not had a single fucking victory this entire time. Except for the moon landing, but that doesn't count. Faction at 359. Economy at 140. What's going on in Germany, man? Have they, like, completely collapsed? I mean, I, I, I guess so? Like... I, I don't know how they have 730 points. Like, that, that's significantly lower than where they started. Don't you start with, like, 2,000? Ah, sure, we'll do Brothers in Arms at this point. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just, who cares? Like, it's kind of crazy. Jet BB is still going, you know, it's going well. We still got a great surplus, and that's without austerity and without even doing any taxes. It's kind of crazy on that one. What's the most we can do? Like, if we do austerity, austerity, tax hike. 10% of the GDP is actually kind of crazy. This is actually get the debt paid off in like six years. <laughs> that, uh, that's actually fucked. That's, that's, some, that's some good money right there. That's some good money. But okay, very, very soon we should get our event about Jean Kirkpatrick. Oh my god, there's still more here. There's actually still more shit to do. Oh, I thought it ended. I thought we were over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pres okay. Okay, Stand Up America. In a tiny little city somewhere in rural America, a nine-year-old girl sat watching the television. Her eyes were glued on the screen. She couldn't take them away. It was one of, uh, it wasn't one of our cartoons, no. The screen was not displaying colorful characters or singing animals, uh, as was, uh, usual for the girls' uh, household. And yet, the girl's even more focused than when she watched her shows. Her eyes stared at the screen, her mouth open in silent, rap amazement, and watched the, uh, figure on screen. A beautiful woman in a clean-cut suit on a podium speaking to the crowd. The girl's mind couldn't truly comprehend the size of the crowd. The waves and waves of blurry faces could, uh, be in the billions, for as far as she knew. She saw the faces looking up at the woman with the same sense of amazement that uh, she herself felt. But the other emotions too. Pride, rage, disappointment, fear, hope. There's all the uh, quilt of faces the uh, girl looked onto. The girl's uh, mind couldn't, uh, could not comprehend what she was saying. Words like organization of free nations, mutual defense clause, regime change, and authoritarian versus totalitarian continued to show up again and again. These words have no meaning to the girl. She had, of course, uh, heard some of them somewhere, but their meaning was lost to her. The girl's mind did not understand the meaning of the blue flag and the hand holding a torch that was uh, waving behind the woman. It was a nice shade of blue. She wondered who uh, the hand belonged to. Maybe it was a new flag of the United States. She had paid attention enough in school, and she said the pledge every day, that she knew it wasn't the current one. There was one thing the girl could understand, however. The power that this woman held, the, the way her advisors in the crowd looked up to her and hung up on every word, even the way this woman carried herself and had power... This is what a woman who was uh, self-assured, who knew where she was and knew uh, that she had earned it. As the little girl analyzed the woman's face and felt the uh, uh, question arise in her own mind, Daddy, do you think I could do that one day? Of course you could. President Kirkpatrick's inaugural address. 
My fellow uh, American Senators and Congressmen, Speaker of the House and the Senate, I can only apologize in advance. If for no other reason, then my apologies will be rare, indeed, because I cannot, in good conscience, celebrate my presidency with the same exuberance of my colleagues. I fear that I cannot treasure this moment as much as my husband and children surely will. In truth, I cannot stomach it. In the words of Thomas Jefferson, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just and that his justice cannot sleep forever. It is for this that I cannot and will not treat this moment in time as anything other than the gravity deserves. My party would have me believe that this marks a new beginning when, if anything, it is the point of culmination of everything that has led my country to this point. To my fellow Americans, to the people of the world, and to those who have wronged them, uh, in the name of every life ruined by the enemy we face, I offer clear and undeniable messages. Not one more. To my fellow Americans, I say to you, do not be afraid. I promise you that our nation's security will be the highest priority, that the Third Reich and the Empire's efforts to build their new uh, world order, they said it, they said it, will be in vain. And it'll be in vain that they will try and fail to preserve it. My promise is to end uh, to uncertainty and to your children will live in a land of their own. Safe under the uh, providence of God and never know fear again. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Well, I guess with that, it's going to be a good time to end the episode. I thought I thought this would be the end uh, of the series, but I guess not. I guess there's like one more. So I will uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, have a good day and goodbye.